If you are working with data in Python, you have probably used pandas. But have you heard of Polars? It's a new lightning fast data frame library designed for high performance. Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will compare pandas and Polars in depth, exploring their speed, memory usage, syntax, and parallel processing capabilities. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand which library is best for your data analysis tasks. Before we dive into the comparison, let's ensure that both libraries are installed. You can do this by running the command pip install pandas space polars. Once successfully installed, or if you already have them installed, make sure that they are up to date to take advantage of the latest optimizations. To do this, you first import pandas and polars by using the command import pandas as pt, import polars as pl. Then you can print out the versions of each library using pd.version pl.version in the print statement. Checking the version of each library is a good habit, especially if you are working in an environment where updates and dependencies can affect performance. Now, let's start with pandas. Loading a CSV file in pandas is simple using the read CSV method. This method reads the data into a data frame, which allows us to perform various operations. Next, Let's see how Polars handles the same task. Notice how similar the syntax is, making it easy for Pandas users to transition to Polars. However, under the hood, Polars is significantly faster because it leverages multi-threading and optimized execution plans. Performance is a key factor when handling large data sets. Let's test Pandas first. To test the performance of pandas and polars, let's import the time module. The time module is used to measure execution time, helping us compare the speed of operations in pandas versus polars. Next, starting the timer. This captures the current time in seconds before the operation begins, and then performing the operation. This line of code creates a new column by multiplying values in the households column by two. Pandas executes this operation row by row in a single threaded manner, and then calculating execution time. Calculates the time taken for the operation by subtracting the start time from the current time after execution. Now, let's do the same operation in Polars. Unlike Pandas, Polaris executes this transformation in a more optimized manner, often completing the task much faster. Let's start the timer. This records the current time before the operation starts, allowing us to measure the execution duration. Next, let's create a new column in Polaris. This method creates new columns in a Polar's data frame. This selects the existing column households and multiplies each value by two. Then this renames the resulting column to new column. Unlike pandas, Polar's processes this operation in a highly optimized way, often leveraging multi-threading for better performance. Finally, this computes the time taken for the operation by subtracting the recorded start time from the current time. The result is printed out, allowing us to compare it with the pandas execution time. As you can see, both codes perform the same operation, multiplying each value in households column by two and creating a new column. However, the execution time in pandas is significantly longer compared to polars. 
This demonstrates that Polaris is much faster than Pandas. That's the ability to its optimized execution and parallel processing capabilities. Next, let's compare the memory usage of both Pandas and Polaris. Memory usage is another crucial factor, especially when dealing with large data sets. Let's check how much memory Pandas is consuming for this data frame. Now, let's check the memory usage of Polaris. Polaris is built on Apache Arrow, which optimizes memory management and reduces overhead, making it a great choice for big data tasks. The results show that Polaris uses significantly less memory compared to Pandas, even when working with the same data sets. This is because Polaris is built on Apache Arrow, which optimizes memory management and reduces overhead, making it more efficient for handling large data sets. Parallel processing and lazy execution. Pandas operates in a single threaded manner, meaning it processes data row by row. For small data sets, this works is fine, but it can be a bottleneck for large data sets. On the other hand, Polaris leverages lazy execution. This means it builds a computation plan before executing, optimizing performance by reducing redundant calculations. This approach is particularly useful for large scale data processing. When to use Pandas versus Polars? Choosing the right library depends on your use case. If you are dealing with small data sets or need compatibility with legacy systems, Pandas is a solid choice. However, if you need speed, efficiency, and scalability, Polars is the way to go. We have explored the key differences between Pandas and Polars covering performance, memory usage, and execution strategies. The choice ultimately depends on your project needs. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What are your experiences with Pandas and Polars? Let us know.